Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're doing a request from a subscriber for uh, Waste by Fish, which is off of their album Billy Breathes in 1994. And, um, you know, just a classic Fish song. Uh, they have a really great live version of this as well, where Trey kind of goes off on this um, awesome solo idea he plays. So, other than that, uh, please check the description below for links to check out and um, please remember to subscribe hit the notification bell thanks everybody for supporting the channel so let's zoom in and get to work all right so there is a couple interesting things about this recording it's it's in the key of c concert c but trey uh, turned everything down tuned everything down a whole step meaning he was in standard d tuning so it was you know d g everything down a, a whole step but he did play these chords. So you might see some tutorials in C. The problem with that is uh, the voicings are gonna be a little weird because he didn't write it in C, he wrote it in D. And so we're gonna learn in D. Uh, if you wanna play along with the recording, you'd have to tune everything down. Um, but his live versions, the Fish's live versions are all in D. And you can watch Trey playing this part that we're gonna learn. All right, so that being said, um, He's got some he's got some big stretches here, so I'm going to show you the accurate version and then I'll show you a variation you can do. So let's start here with this D. What we want to do is we want to bar the second fret with the first three strings. Okay. Middle finger, third fret, second string, pinky, fifth fret, first string. And the strumming is always this sort of thing where it's like treble, bass, treble, bass for the most part, right? No matter what's going on. Right, see, when we go here, it's gonna be treble, bass, treble, bass. The bass is usually just the fourth string, but you get the idea. So that's gonna be the strumming pattern. Now let's cover the chords. So we're gonna go down, 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 but like I said, treble bass. One, two, now we do uh, lift the middle finger, second fret, second string. Okay, so that's called a D major seven. And then here's the hard part, a D seven, dominant seven. And you can even hear Trey fretting out a little bit because it's just such a crazy stretch. Okay, but that's what he does. So that's a D seven, first fret, second fret, I'm uh, sorry, first fret, second string. Now we do our D sus4, pinky slide over to the third fret, first string, and then second fret, and then open. Okay, so that's... And there's kind of like a little back and forth happening there. It's like... Like... And just kind of bouncing between the other strings here then a G triad, fifth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, third string, third fret, second string. Okay, down bass, treble bass, and then bar the third fret, second and third strings for a G minor, and same two beats there, and then a first inversion D triad. So that's gonna be fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, third fret, second string. Bass, treble, bass, treble. That's the entire intro and actually the verse, or most of the verse. So let's do that again. Okay. Same exact part for when he sings. Alright, so he does uh, another couple phrases but then when he said and, and just the guitar part repeats but then he, when he says a dream it's true uh, from here instead of going back to here we just go straight back to the G a dream G minor it's true one more time but I'd see uh, sorry but I'd see G minor it through and then when he says I can be that's just the first part I can be so there's nothing different there. Wasting my time. Okay. Then there's another verse and pre-chorus. Pre 
second time, so that's exactly the same. But then, this is why it's important to play it in D and not C, because we need that low F chord. So, there's a little pickup here, O, oh, two, three, fourth string, and then an F chord. Right, this part, so F, C, G to D, F repeats four times. Last time, here's the fourth time. At the C, we're done with the pre chorus and now we're at the chorus. So that's F, C, uh, G, D. But then the fourth time, F to C, E. Here's the chorus G, A minor, to C for two bars. Come with A minor, your sound, C. And it's just twice the first time, but when we get to the end of the song, that just keeps repeating. Okay, now the form-wise, let's talk about the form before we, we finish up with this final lick here. It goes into a piano solo over the verse. Right? And the piano does this beautiful, almost jazzy kind of solo. Um, and it's really nice, right? And then... Trey comes in singing here again with the pre-chorus. And, uh, and then when we get to the chorus, it's, it's a long chorus, or meaning a, um, a, a sort of a, a vamp of the chorus, fading out to the end, and we have this little solo that Trey plays. So, let's learn this little lick. And it's kind of impossible to nail down the exact timing because he's he's always changing it, which is one of the magical things about Trey's playing is his his effortless improvisation, right? So, at, while, while this is happening, and even while he's singing, he's doing this. So, it's just a G major pentatonic kind of shape here, but he's only utilizing these three notes: seventh fret, third string, ninth fret, and then eighth fret, second string. So he's going hammer on, I'm oh sorry, pull off to 7th fret, hammer on to 9, 8. And just kind of repeating it over and over. Sometimes, sometimes just pulling it off, 9, 7, 9, 7. Sometimes hammering on as well. Okay, a little slower. Sometimes a bunch of hammer-ons and pull-offs. Endless combinations. So that's what he's doing there with his, you know, tube screamer and his his Ross compressor. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in, in pedals, that's a different discussion. But he gets uh, this really interesting tone with those pedals. And so he can just do one idea forever and, and it sounds great. And the song fades out with G, A minor 7 to C. Okay? So... Uh, I told you I would, I forgot to do that, but I'm going to do it now. I told you I would give you a different way to play this part if you don't want to do the stretch. So why don't I do that now? You can do this, second fret like before, but then you can just go fifth fret, third string instead of this. So that would be, here it is, fifth fret, third string. 5th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret. And then when you do this part, just leave the 3rd finger there. So 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, same as before, to the G. So that's one way to play it if you don't want to do that stretch or you can't do it. Totally fine. It's kind of fun to try to do exactly what they're, what they're doing though. Okay? All right, so there you go. Um, hopefully um, that makes sense to you. Let me know if, if there's any questions. Other than that, enjoy and uh, happy practicing. All right, good job, everybody. So uh, we've got uh, our first fish song of the channel. So I uh, hope you enjoy. And remember to subscribe and um, have a great day. And I'm looking forward to the next lesson. So see you then. Bye.